The sun is about to rise. It is six o'clock in the morning and 11-year-old Susan has managed another night at the hostel. She is soon about to return to her village, more than an hour's walk away. No, Twenty thousand children are seeking refuge in the city of Gulu every night. They are always on the run, trying to escape the terror of the rebels. They are running away in fear of being abducted, raped and may be forced to kill their own playmates. They leave their villages and refugee camps every night, day in and day out. They commute back and forth to the city. The mornings are always the worst. The worrying. Did the rebels attack last night? Is my mother still alive? The children are known as the night commuters, forced to walk by their fear and their determination to stay alive. <laughs> The civil war in northern Uganda has been raging for 19 years. The rebel group, LRA, the Lord's Resistance Army, are notorious for child abduction and for forcing the children to become child soldiers or sex slaves. And the walk continues. Susan and her sister Gladys are slowly approaching the village. The sun is already scorching hot. At home, the family is waiting. <laughs> Susan counts them. All of them are still here. The rebels stayed away last night. The rebels attacked the village four years ago. Susan ran away and hid, but witnessed how her father was abducted by the LRA. The war in northern Uganda is described as the world's worst forgotten conflict. Everyone here are refugees in their own country, trapped between the rebels and the army. Det är en konflikt som beskriver människor i under förfärlig humanitära förhåll. Det är människor som lever med en förfärlig säkerhetssituation. Barn är, vi skulle kunna säga att det är målgrupper för alla då. Det är de som blir kidnappade, det är de som blir hjärnevaska, det är de som blir brukt som barnsoldater. The ICC, the International Criminal Court in The Hague, has made the conflict their first own case and have recently issued arrest warrants for five LRA commanders. Peace talks have been held since last year, but so far the result is nothing. Nothing but increased war and even more cruel attacks. Here in the village has everyone learned to live with the fear. As the night approaches, the anxiety grows. Susan and Gladys are heading back towards school. Now, during the rainy season, there are daily attacks, since the rebels are able to hide in the high grass. Other children are joining along the road, all of them hunted by the same fear, all of them with parents unable to protect them. It's so stressful for a child. Then the issues like maybe if you're in the villages during the army. What, what I kill hearts as an organization is when we send the children off home in the morning and the children get abducted. It's actually one of the most... Does that happen? Yeah, we've ever had the children when they go home in the morning and in the evening they say like so-and-so was abducted. They approach Gulu as small shadows, silently materializing from the darkness. All of them struggling to stay alive in the world's worst forgotten conflict. 
It's already nine o'clock and it's bedtime at the hostel. Everyone here will dream the same dream tonight. A dream of peace and a safe 